All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekha HaKadash. Secondly, I want to give double honors to our apostles, our elders, our bishops here at Great Millstone for teaching us this truth and who rule well. And Shalom to all you brothers across the four corners of this earth, pushing this word with all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom, Shalom. All right, it's your brother Kabad from GMS Heaviana 144, GMS South Carolina Mittens Camp. Just coming back with a quick video through the power and the spirit of Yahweh Bashum, Yahweh Shai. And Lord willing, I pray this video is edifying and good nourishment to the house of David. All right, and just getting straight into this video, because um, I, uh, I know for the brothers and the, uh, the few sisters that may be watching, you might be wondering, like, why the hell this brother got a, a, a steak sauce, um, <laughs> a picture of A1 steak sauce on his... Um, on his uh starting the video off um but just to keep it as as the apostles and, and and elders often say man you can pretty much find you know if you if when you got a spiritual uh mind frame and, and to the best of your abilities you know you 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 attempting and, and we're practicing and rehearsing the righteous acts you can pretty much find edification in anything now with this particular subject of course what drew me to it was i noticed that the um I didn't, of course, when you read it, what it says, it says, so in the middle of the Civil War, someone was like, you know what? This country needs a delicious steak sauce. All right. And of course, I thought it was funny. But then at the same time, I I, I was intrigued by the date, uh, 1862. So it made me, um, uh, and this is something that is taught as, as we gave double honors to our apostles, our elders. And the bishops, hey, this is something that our apostles and our elders often always say, look things up, man. All right, because in the midst of this being humorous, I, I actually took the time out to, to Google the date, what was going on. And originally I started with um with uh, seeing whenever this steak sauce was really came out. And um, of course the bottle says 18, 1862, but um originally Let's go back real quick because I already read that. It says, uh, it says it was, it dates back to the to the uh, 1820s. So, long story short, um, I can't find it right now, but I know it brought me to pretty much. It was the date around 1831. All right, what it what it had brought me to now, as we're seeing right here, it says, uh, of course, the sauce was commercialized 1862. As was on the bottle, then it says, but the sauce originally started back in the 1820s. All right. So um, uh, from, from there, and, I, and like I said, I, I can't initially find where I saw 1831, but the spirit had me um, from there. I typed in 1831. All right. Because it gave me the year that, of course, that this bottle, that, you know, this, the sauce supposedly um, before it became 1862, it was supposed to be 1831. So. It led me to um, 1831, all right? And so, um, as you can see on the screen, 1831, and it says, um, and all this is around the same time, the 30, 1830 leading up to the Civil War and whatnot, but it says, um, 1831 was a significant year in American history with events that included the rise of a, a, a abolishment movement, the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, and the start of evangel evangelical evangelical revival revivalism all right so um it had a, a couple of you know things that took place in 1831 all right as you can as you can read it got an abolishment movement pope gregory becomes the so-called pope you know and then um you know i was just reading it down uh, as you can see right here april 18 university of alabama so-called crimson tide um and of course, if you know anything about that crimson color, that goes into um, that's that Rothschild color, man. And and it's no figure that these uh, Edomites love Alabama so much, man. When you look at uh, how they glorify that uh, that sports team and and whatnot. But um, as I was just strolling along, continuing to read, I came on this particular date right here, November 11. It says Nat Turner is hanged following Nat Turner's rebellion. Of course, and um, if you know anything about uh, Nat Turner and whatnot, and this is where it get interesting because um, today's date is the uh, the twenty second 
of uh, August, and um, yesterday was the 24th, 21st, of course. And um, as I said, this is where it got interesting because, as I said, I was just you know started from that date on the on the um, on the uh, eighty one sauce bottle, and then I, and then it led me to eighteen thirty one, and, and as we're reading right now, eighteen thirty one, and then it brought me to the um, to this particular thing that happened in uh, November eleventh, Nat Turner being hung, man. All right, being uh, uh, he got hanged for his rebellions, and so um, from there, I kind of uh dug a little bit deeper, and once I said it, it was today and uh, yesterday, and today's date is the twenty first and the twenty second. All right, and this is how the spirit works too. So um, from there, I I I, I dug a little deeper in on uh, because we know all about Nat Turner, he was a uh, revolting against his uh master and whatnot if you don't know take time out if you want to you know you can read it but um he was pretty much an example of as i'm going to get some scriptures of a of an individual that didn't wait on the lord okay now at the end of the day he came to realization of apparently that you know that we were the people of the scriptures man all right the lord um pretty much showed revealed that to him and um unlike nat turner he didn't wait, unlike uh, unlike how we've been taught and how the scriptures te uh, t teach us. Nat Turner didn't wait on the Lord, and pretty much that was his demise. So, um, as I stay, as I as I continue now, let's go. Um, I typed in August eighteen thirty one, right? And as you can see, because as I stated yesterday was August the twenty first, and today is the twenty second. And so when I typed that in, it 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 brought up events that took place 193 years ago all right so and, and and in the same time uh period that we're in right now because today is the so-called 22nd and yesterday was 21st so yesterday and today 190 something years ago to be exact nat turner was on, on in, in the midst of uh his revolts right now man all right now when we read wisdom, uh, uh, just roughly paraphrasing, this is also another indication that we're those people because the scriptures speak about we standing with great boldness upon the, those that have afflicted us. Now, in this particular time right here, though the Lord uh, uh, gave Nat Turner, you know, the vision to see that we were the people, hey, that wasn't the time for um, for us to stand in great boldness, as the scriptures speak about in Wisdom of Solomon. All right, but um. Let's read a little bit of this. And I'm going to get a few scriptures because, as I said, it it, it kind of like as, as as I was reading and it, and and the spirit led me to 1831, and then from there, it led me to you know, August 1831, and 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 the fact that it, the dates are parallel with the time that we're in right now, of course, I was just like, man, I was blown away. So um, we read a little bit of it, see what was taking place. All right. And then we're going to get a few scriptures. Now it says, Nathaniel Nate, Nate Turner, an enslaved preacher and self-proclaimed prophet, led a slave revolt in Southampton County, Virginia. The rebellion lasted 48 hours, two days, and was one of the deadliest slave revolts in U.S. history. Turner and his followers, now this happened the 21st at 2 a.m. It says, Turner and his followers began to revolt at Turner's master's house, killing their entire family. Turner and his allies killed at least 55 white men, women, and children as they traveled toward Jerusalem, now Cortland. August 22nd, the, the rebels encountered organized resistance at James Parker's farm and are defeated. And then in the aftermath, as we read on the other screen, when we started with 1831, November, and he was put to death, man. And um, I remember uh, uh, we went with the, as a camp. And we went in and seen that movie, Birth of a Nation, if you've never seen it. And at the end of the movie, they tell you how they pretty much made belts out of his skin and and, and his blood and oil. Pretty much how this damn devil uh, uh, tried to pretty much this dude didn't have a have a, a, a he didn't have a body to, to get buried, man. All right. Because after they hung him, you know, they dismembered his body, man. All right. Now, um, as I stated to me, it was kind of like, wow, this was going on 193 years ago, man. All right. And of course, when you see that movie, you get riled up, you get furious. 
You know, and uh, in, in, in regards to a lot of things that Esau has done and, 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 and why the hope for humble, fearful elect, we know that the Lord is going to pay this freaking devil back, man. He's going to, man, we can't wait till the Lord give us that power to get on this devil, man. All right. For all the atrocities that he's done to our people, man. All right. But um, in regards to this guy, um, Nat Turner, you know, and as we look at a few images, all right, because he, as, as, as it said, he pretty much him and, and 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 the slaves they revolted for forty eight hours, and they um, you know they uh took down a few Edomites, but this wasn't the way of the Lord, man. Even in this particular time right here, man, this was, hey, the Lord changed not, as the scriptures tell us, and we're supposed to remain in that spirit of waiting on the Lord, man, because the Lord is going to get the first lick, man. All right. Now, granted, of course, you know, the slaves would outnumber their masters, but hey, it wasn't the time. This wasn't the time. All right. Because we're in the time now, as the scriptures tell us in Second Edges chapter nine about measuring the time diligently, man, because this is the time that the Lord is on his way back. And this is the time that the Lord has revealed who the wicked is. And this is the Lord. This is the time when the Lord, starting with our apostles and our elders, and we say that humbly, that the Lord is uh, raising up the hopeful, humble, fearful elect, man. All right. To do what? To blow the trumpet and give our people that warning because a hey, Nat Turner, as they said, he was a so-called self-proclaimed prophet. But guess what? He wasn't um, teaching the name of Yahweh Shai. All right. Teaching the name of Yahweh or Yahweh Shai at the particular time. All right. Yeah. He had a, a, a little bit of knowledge knowing that the scriptures were, um, were, 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 was, was our book. All right. But that's where, that's pretty much where it ended at, man. All right. Because um, he started to revolt, and as if you've seen the movie, I think he got snitched out by one of the um, by uh, by another slave, and and that's how they were able to um, conquer them in that particular time. So that wasn't the time for to be stand, standing with great boldness, man. All right. So um, let's get a few scriptures, man. Because as I stated, man, when I particularly went into um, the year eighteen thirty one, and then. The fact that it was August around this time, it was just like, hey man, hey, do a do a do a video on it, man. All right. And see, one thing about Nat Turner, because the scriptures say things is, is written for our learning, you still have some Israelite uh camps that are in that uh Nat Turner spirit. All right, they're in the spirit of of thinking that they're gonna um war against uh Esau when Esau's blessing is the sword. And that's the that's the wrong spirit to be in, all right. Because at the end of the day, we're going to need Yahweh Yahweh Shai to defend us, man. All right. Scriptures speak about we're worms, so um, let's get a few scriptures, man. Because um, 193 years ago, man, when this revolt was going on, uh, Jake thought that they, they were they were going to be free, man. All right. And little did they know, man, this was going to be a a, a part of uh, uh history and and a part of the warning. Uh, that 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 the hopeful, humble, fearful elect is going to give our people, and, and furthermore, edifying, and, and then furthermore, proof, and furthermore, reason why we have to wait on the Lord. All right, because this wasn't time. This wasn't the time yet, man. All right, so let's get. I want to start with um. Let me get uh Psalms. I'm going to start with Psalms, chapter twenty-seven, and fourteen, and it reads. All right. Well, matter of fact, we're going to start at 11. Now. It says, teach me thy way, O Yahweh, and lead me in, in a plain path because of mine enemies. Now, it says, teach me thy way. And the Lord teaches the hopeful, humble, fearful, the ways, uh, first and foremost, by having the fear of the Lord. All right. And the the, the, the Proverbs 1 and 7, it says, um, the, the matter of fact, let's read it. Let's read it for the first time. You might have some first timers that have never heard it. All right, because it says, teach me thy way, O Lord, Yahweh, right? Shalaki, my app is acting crazy. Let's see if it's going to pull up now. Nah, it's not pulling up, so bear with me. Let's hold the Psalms and let's get Proverbs 1 and 7. All right, now it says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. All right, so having that fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, man, and, it, and within Having the fear, the Lord has told us to wait upon him, man. All right. The Lord told us to be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. All right. The Lord told us to quickly agree with our adversary, man. 
All right. The Lord told us once again to wait upon him. All right. Not to be in that rebellious state of mind, man, because that 48 uh, hour rebellion. I'm pretty sure that Jake probably felt empowered when they were killing the master and they were killing the uh, 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 the little the, the, the white children and whatnot. I'm pretty sure Jake felt empowered. And, you know, we, we don't get to. And this is one an, another thing that Esau tried to wipe out. And, and not want to uh, uh, speak about a lot because this is one uh, individual that, uh, from my understanding, well, when I was coming up, they, they never talked about Nat Turner like that. You had to, um, you know, be around so-called so-called pro-black people or uh, 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 Jake of that nature to learn about uh, Nat Turner, man. All right. And then when you learn furthermore, a hey, Nat Turner wasn't uh, uh, being a. Uh, obedient to the to the lord as well either as far as waiting on the lord man but at the end of the day a man's going so your how way how shy the lord had it did, uh, set up and and designed for it to go out like that man all right at the end of the day because a good and evil is is all in the hands of the heavenly father all right now it says but fools despise wisdom and instruction so the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom now as we go back to uh psalms chapter 27 and go back to verse 11 and read on down. It says, teach me thy way, O Lord. All right, O Lord, Yahweh. All right, so having that fear, man, that's the beginning of the knowledge, man. All right, and within the knowledge and within the scriptures, the Lord emphasizes the fact that we must wait upon him. All right, Yahweh Shai has to God has, is going to get that first lick back on all that has oppressed the children of Israel. Yahweh Shai was on that cross and died for all of Israel. Not Nat Turner, man. All right, because you will have Jake. That, you know, me knowing that um I'm 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 sure that there's some Jake someplace in the world right now that probably knew that, that knew this date and they probably like, oh nigga, it's not Turner Day. You know how Jake be uh celebrating uh Juneteenth and all type of other crazy shit. So, you know, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised, but um nevertheless, I'm glad that the spirit had me kind of see these dates and, and, and just kind of elaborate of what was going on 193 years ago, man. All right. 193 years ago of what was going on. And fast forward to now. Hey, guess what? The hopeful, humble, fearful elect. We're waiting on the Lord, man. All right. We're not in that spirit because even right now, when Jake had, can, uh, uh, can, can purchase ammunition and Jake can, uh, uh, pretty much can somewhat seem as if you can do what, what your enemies do still, the Lord told us to wait upon him, man. All right, because vengeance belongs to Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, man. All right, so it don't matter that Jake can have AR 15s, SK, AKs, a, a, a damn tank or whatever, a fighter jet. At the end of the day, if you aren't waiting on the Lord, then that's not, uh, uh, especially if you're uh, knowing that you're a, a Israelite, if you're not waiting on the Lord, then guess what? Then, you, then you're being disobedient. All right, because the Lord has instructed the hopeful, humble, fearful elect to wait upon him. All right, and this is what we're going to do because going back to the fear of the Lord, all right, and taking heed to the wisdom and instructions that was given unto us, man, all right, for our learning. Now, as we continue on, it says, Teach me thy way, O Lord, Yahweh, Psalm 21 and 11, and lead me in the plain path because of mine enemies. Deliver me not unto the will of mine enemies. For false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. All right? Because we see the goodness of the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, in spite of all these, as the scriptures say, do not let the, uh, the incredulity of these other people trouble us, man. We still see the goodness of the Lord in spite of being oppressed, in spite of being uh, uh still looked at as niggas and 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 spicks and and whatever Esau try to label us as guess what we still see the goodness in the Lord because guess what we we're waiting upon the Lord as we're going to allude to see it as we're going to allude to read now it says Psalm 27 and 14 wait on the Lord you see that wait on the Lord Yahweh and who's waiting on the Lord Yahweh man the hopeful humble fearful elect man not being in that riled up spirit man not being in that rebellion spirit not being in that yo we gotta uh, uh fight uh, uh esau sword for sword you know not being in that spirit man not being in that because you will have jake that's still in that spirit of wanting to uh, uh uh get riled up and 
want to want to rise up like uh, Nat Turner did, and and, and you know what? Especially in these last times, you're gonna you're gonna start seeing these so-called revolts come back, and Jake is gonna get mowed down, man. Because at the end of the day, as we know, the Lord has given Esau the blessing of the sword, man. This devil has so much shit that he's ready to get busy on these niggas with, man. So this is why the hope for humble, fearful elect. As we're reading right now, it says, wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart, the mind. Wait, and I say, on wait, I say on the Lord. Okay, and this is the song of King David, man. All right, telling us, wait on the Lord, man. Because the Lord has already promised us, and the Lord already had told us, pursuing the Romans 12, that he will repay, that avenge not ourselves, man. All right? Can't be in that uh, 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 Nat Turner spirit, man. 193 years, uh, 193 years ago, hey, Jake was in in, in that rebellious spirit, and, and even 100 today, man, you still have Jake in that rebellious spirit. All right, that that think that they they can go toe to toe with the goddamn Esau, and 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 they, and they want to go toe to toe with their enemies, and they're losing focus of, hey. Our gift and our weapon is the scriptures. The weapons of our warfare is not carnal, man, as the scriptures say, man. Our weapon is these words, is these scriptures, man, all right? Because with these words, pursuing the Isaiah 13, man, hey, hey, these words have went up to the gates of the noble, man. And Esau, he can't even hide who he is anymore, man. This devil, he can't even deny that hey, we are all those people, man. And he's our goddamn enemy, man. All right, now it says, wait on the Lord. I'll read it again. Psalm 27 and 14. Wait on the Lord, Yahweh. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. All right, now let's get, um, <clears throat> let's go to Proverbs real quick. All right, Proverbs chapter 20 and 22, because at the end of the day, the scriptures tell us to wait on the Lord, and we're going to get why we're supposed to wait on the Lord, man. All right, because as we made mention of Romans 12, we're going to get that. Because a Yahweh Shai gets first dibs, man, at this at, at our oppressors, man. All right, Yahweh Shai a, a rightfully deserves that, man. Because once again, Yahweh Shai died for all of the nation of Israel, man. All right, and of course, at this time, it's only about the elect. But at the end of the day, Yahweh Shai bared the, the 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 burden for all of Israel, man. All right, for us to have a chance at life and salvation, man. All right, a chance to live. All right. Now, this is Proverbs 20 and 22. It says, say not thou, I will recompense evil. All right. So the, the scriptures is telling us, hey, don't say to yourself, man, you know what? Hey, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a get that nigga back, man. I'm going to get I'm going to handle this, man. OK, so it says, say not thou, I will recompense evil. So being in that spirit of you, I'm going I'm I'm to I'm get them niggas back for I'm going to slide on them niggas, man. All right. It says, but wait on the Lord, Yahweh. And he shall save thee. All right? So going back to, hey, we're worms, man. All right? You cannot go at this goddamn devil with this blessing that the Lord has given him, man. All right? So this is why the Lord says right there, say not thou, I will recompense evil, man. All right? Because that's not that's not for our lot to do right now, man. When the Lord give us that power, when he give us that strength, after Yahweh Shai gets first uh, dibs, first and foremost, hey, then it'll be that time. This is why the scripture said, wait on the Lord, man. Because the Lord is going to give us that strength, man. The Lord is going to put his anger on us, man. Because we might think, like, uh, as we can read and, and as we make mention of the Nat Turner and how, you know, at the end of the day, they, they hung Jake and how they were, were, were we get upset when we when we uh, hear about Gator Bait and how this devil was just hanging out people, stomping out the fetuses and, and just all the bullshit this devil was doing. But imagine how, how we feel mad already in, in this fleshly form. Imagine when the Lord puts that spirit on us to feel the anger that that He feels, man. All right, we're not even going. Hey, we're probably going to be in, in in straight rage mode, man. Rage mode like no other, man. Because you got to think about it. You already know Yahweh Shai is furious and ready to get back, man, and pay this goddamn devil back, man. All right, and so hey, hey, and that's why we have to wait upon the Lord, man. All right, because at the end of the day, hey, hey, humbly we say this: if the, hey, the Lord crowns us with the, uh, as a part of being of that elect. And when the Lord says, hey, it's time to get busy on these goddamn Edomites, man, hey, we're going to be on go, man. All right? Brothers ain't going to be on the mind frame or be like, oh, man, well, he was he was kind of nice to me, man. He held the door for me one time. Man, we ain't going to be thinking about none of that through the spirit, man, because the Lord going to have his anger on us, man. All right? His anger, man. 
All right, we can't be mad enough, man. As the, that's what, like, as the bishop, I'd like to say, man, we ain't mad enough, man. We don't know furious, we don't know anger until the Lord puts that on us, and we say that humbly as we hope to be a part of that number that the Lord is going to, uh, 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 that hope that be a part of that battle axe, man. With that number that the Lord is going to uh, uh, use to be His battle axe, man. All right, now it says. Um, uh, jumping down to 24, it says, man's going of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? All right. At the end of the day, the Lord is in control of all things that go on, man. All right. So uh, 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 so even with, with Nat Turner, you know, going off and doing his thing, and, I, and I'm pretty sure he, I'm not sure, uh, he probably was on that, um, because one thing we we, 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 we read too about uh, 1860s, uh, that's when they started to uh, uh, so-called bring in, uh, uh, you know, those the the, the church theme. And uh, I imagine that's when they brought in the uh, uh, the slave Bible and stuff of that nature. All right. Uh, starting to, you know, so-called uh, 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 suppress Jake, man. All right. And, and, and really just strip us from our from our, um, uh, our heritage, man, from our, 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 our um, you know, from being discontinued, discontinued from my heritage, as Scripture tells us in Jeremiah. Now, um, let's get um, let's get Romans because at the end of the day, as we've been reading, wait on the Lord, man. All right, unlike see what happened in that Turner, man. The penalty of not waiting on the Lord, man. And then, and, and I'm and, and and there's other guys that you know that we probably could mention that didn't wait on the Lord. Some guys that um that didn't make the, the quote unquote history books. All right. But being in that, you know, that, that, uh, lone wolf spirit, as we just read, as we just read, say not thou, I will recompense evil. All right. Because that's going off right there, man. Because how are you going to recompense evil when the Lord already said what? Let's get Romans chapter 12 and uh, 19. It, and it reads, it says, dearly beloved. All right. The hopeful, humble, fearful elect avenge not yourselves. But rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. So the Lord is saying, Hey, vengeance is his, man. All right. Avenge not yourselves. Don't put in your mind frame, hey man, that nigga, that nigga did me dirty, man. You know, I'm I'm gonna ride on these damn crackers. I'm gonna ride on these heathens, man. All right. That's the wrong mind frame to be in, man. All right, because the Lord already said, dearly beloved. All right, and if, and if you consider yourself the beloved, all right, then, then you're going to take heed, man. You're going to take heed of waiting upon the Lord, man. All right, because at the end of the day, man, there's a lot of uh, uh, so-called vain heroes that wanted to, you know, make a name for themselves, and it didn't work out that good, man. They got got them back in the spiritual realm, like like Nat Turner, man. All right, and um. And once again, let's read Romans 12 and 19. It says, Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. All right? Because at the end of the day, man, you know, you have some people be like, well, yo, the Lord is going to going to repay, um, or the Lord is going to uh, uh, do harmful things to the people that uh, uh, hurt us and oppressed us. Yes, you're damn right, man. Starting with Esau, first and foremost, man. It's written in the scriptures, man. What's that? First, uh, second Thessalonians. The scriptures speak about, well, matter of fact, let's get it. Let's get it. Because at the end of the day, man, the Lord said he's going to recompense those that have troubled us, man. And we're not. We troubled by Esau, first and foremost, our enemy number one, as, long, as well as these other heathen nations. All right? So guess what? We don't have to worry about, you know what? We're going we're gonna to do them niggas evil. We're going to do them dirty because at the end of the day, the Lord is going to avenge us first and foremost. And then the Lord is going to give us that power over all these goddamn heathens, man. All right. And, and, and Israel is going to be that praise in the earth, man. All right. And the name of Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh Shai is going to be uh, magnificent to this whole universe once again, man. Very soon, too, man. All right. Now let's get, um, we're going to wrap it after this, man. This is, um, Second Thessalonians, one. It's the book of Second Thessalonians, chapter one, verse uh, six, and it and it reads, "Seeing it is a righteous thing with Yahweh to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you." So it said, "It is a righteous thing to Yahweh." You see that? So the Lord is all about uh, uh, a balance, man. All right now, here it is. This damn devil. 
done went above and beyond overkill, man, to the, ne the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. And you mean to tell me the Lord is, is just going to let that be? All right? You mean to tell me that these individuals are going to be uh, uh, in heaven with us after they done damn near tried to, to genocide all of Israel? It don't work that way, man. That's why the Lord said he's going to avenge, man. All right? And then as we're reading right now, it says it's a righteous thing, man. All right? Now, it says, seeing it is a righteous thing with Yahweh to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you and to you who are troubled rest with us when the Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach, all right? When, when the Lord Yahweh Shah shall be revealed from heaven with the mighty angels in flaming fire taking vengeance on them that know not Yahweh and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach. So you see that? So this is this is what happens when you don't obey, when you don't wait upon the Lord, man. All right. The Lord said he's going to uh, 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 he's going to take vengeance on them, man. All right. And, and, and of course, first and foremost, the Lord's going to start at his house first and foremost, pursuing the first Peter four and 17, man. All right. So, hey. It, 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 it really costs to take heed and, and, and pay attention to the instructions at the end of the day, having that fear of the Lord, man. All right. To sum it all up, man, because the fear is the beginning of knowledge. All right. As we read now, it says in flaming fire, first Thessalonians one and eight in flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not Yahweh and that obey not the gospel of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. When he shall come to be glorified in his, in his saints and to be admired in all them that believe because our testimony among you was believed in that day. Wherefore also we pray also always for you that our power will count you worthy of this calling and fulfill all the good pleasure of his goodness and the work of power with faith. All right, so waiting upon the Lord, man. This is why hey, we, we we pray that we're part of that ceremony in the book of Second Edris, man. All right, that ceremony with that Edris scene when Yahweh Shai, taller stature than the rest, were putting uh, uh, crowns upon the hope for humble, fearful elect, the ones that have professed the name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son in the whole world, man. The ones that stood with great boldness and had gone back, the ones that waited upon the Lord, man, to the best of our abilities. A, a, we, we stuck to the statute laws and commandments and we were and we, we and we're praying that we be obedient and we remain to be obedient to the heavenly father and his only begotten son. Now it says that the name of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, may be glorified in you and ye in him according to the grace of our father, Yahweh and the Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. All right. So going back to. A doing the will of the Heavenly Father. And one will of the Heavenly Father of, of, of many things that we're supposed to be doing is what? Waiting upon the Lord. All right? Because the Lord is going to recompense. The Lord is going to, going, to, going to get that vengeance, man. The Lord is going to avenge us, man. The Lord told us to do what? Hey, just blow the trumpet, man. Cry out loud. Give the people the warning, man. All right? Let the people know, hey, the Lord is on his way back. The Lord is coming to redeem the hopeful, humble, fearful elect. The Lord is coming back for his people, man. All right? The Lord has never forsaken us, man. All right? And this is the true job of a prophet, man. All right? Not being in that Nat Turner spirit, because, hey, as we made mention, man, 193 years ago, Jake was out there on a 48-hour on a rebellion, and it was about to come to an end, man. All right? But with this glorious gospel that we have now and being able to stand with great boldness, hey, hey, hey this devil can't do anything uh, 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 to us, man. All right. He can't do anything against us. But all things that are being done are for the truth and for truth's sake, because we're in the mind frame of what? As the scripture is saying, being wise as that serpent and being harmless as the dove, man. All right. Now, not saying that we're, we're just out there. Like how uh, Martin Luther Kingdom was, and just getting uh, what Michael Kingdom was, or just getting beat over our head and, and getting dogs sicked on us and all the other stuff. No, we we ain't, <laughs> we, we we we're not in that era no more. But at the same time, and we're we're, we're not gonna be carnal, and we're not gonna um, as the scripture said, we're gonna agree with our adversaries and we we'll keep it moving, man. All right, but at the end of the day, we're not gonna do anything to bring any shame to the ministry. And to the best of our abilities, we want to do things in decency and in order. 
All right. So um, I pray this quick video has been uh, edifying and good nourishment to the house of David. So I want to close by saying, call Halayim La Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rekah HaKodash. Double honors to our apostles, our elders, our bishops here at Great Millstone for teaching us this truth and who rule well. And Shalom to all you brothers across the four corners of this earth, pushing this word with all righteousness and sincerity. Until the next time I do say Shalom.